Saxon Algebra 1, Lesson 49 Multiplication of Polynomials The distributive property can be understood in terms of areas of rectangles. If a rectangle has a width of 4 units and a length of 9 units, its area is 4 times 9 or 36 square units. This means you can fit 36 little square units inside the rectangle. Watch this. The area is 4 times 9 square units because we have 4 rows of 9 little squares per row. If the length of the rectangle is split into two segments, then the rectangle can be split in two, and the areas of those two pieces add to the area of the whole rectangle. Here we split the rectangle into two pieces of length 6 and 3. The area of that rectangle is the width 4 times the length, which is 6 plus 3, and that can also be found by adding the areas of the individual rectangles that make it up. So 4 times 6 plus 3 is the same as 4 times 6 plus 4 times 3. Let's do this with variables. If the width is A, and the lengths of those little rectangles are b and c, then a times b plus c is equal to ab plus ac. That's your distributive property, and it is true because we can add the areas of the smaller pieces. The same idea can be applied when both the length and the width are split into two or more pieces. For example, if we start with a rectangle that measures 8 units by 11 units, then split the width into 5 units and 3 units, and split the length into 7 units and 4 units, we end up with 4 rectangles whose areas add to the area of the original rectangle. The area is equal to the width 5 plus 3 times the length 7 plus 4. And the area of the green rectangle is 5 times 7. The area of the yellow rectangle 5 times 4. And of the blue 3 times 7. And the magenta 3 times 4. And these areas add up to the area of the whole rectangle, which is expressed by the quantity 5 plus 3 times the quantity 7 plus 4. So this is an extension of the distributive property. This concept can be used to multiply, or sometimes we say expand the product, two polynomials as the following examples illustrate. Example 1. Multiply the quantity x plus 2 by the quantity 2x plus 3. We begin by thinking of this product as the width times the length of a large rectangle. So we draw a large rectangle. And then we split the width into two pieces, x and 2. And we split the length into two pieces, 2x and 3. This product, being the area of the entire rectangle, can now be thought of as the areas of the individual rectangles added up. So we look at the upper left rectangle, its width is x, and its length is 2x. So its area is x times 2x, which is 2x squared. And then look at the upper right rectangle, the width is x, the length is 3, 
its area is 3 times x, 3x. And the lower left rectangle has a width of 2 and a length of 2x. So its area is 2 times 2x, which is 4x. And the lower right rectangle has a width of 2 and a length of 3. So its area is 6. So this expression represents the areas of the individual rectangles added up. Notice that we have two like terms, the 3x and the 4x. They can be added to give us 7x. So the product of those two polynomials can be simplified to 2x squared plus 7x plus 6. Example 2. Multiply the quantity 5 minus 3x times the quantity 2x minus 4. And write the answer in descending order of the variable. First, we will rewrite the first factor in descending order of the variable. And we will write the second factor as a sum. So we have this expression, negative 3x plus 5 times 2x plus negative 4. Again, we want to fill in the widths, lengths, and areas of rectangles. So we draw a split rectangle. The width consists of negative 3x and 5 and the length of 2x and negative 4. And negative 3x times 2x is negative 6x squared. Negative 3x times negative 4 is 12x. 5 times 2x is 10x, and 5 times negative 4 is negative 20. So these areas add up to the area of the whole rectangle, which is what that product represents. Notice that we have like terms, 12x and 10x there. So we can combine those, and we get for the product negative 6x squared plus 22x minus 20. Example 3. Multiply the quantity x plus 2 by the larger quantity x squared plus 3x minus 2. We split the width of our large rectangle into two pieces, x and 2. And we split the length into three pieces because there are three terms in the second polynomial. And then we find the areas of the individual rectangles there. x times x squared is x third. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times 3x is 6x. And 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Now we have some like terms here. So this product can be simplified by adding the like terms. x third is a loner, but the 3x squared and the 2x squared are like terms. They can be added to 5x squared, so we add that on. And the negative 2x and the 6x are like terms. They can be added. We add that on. That gives us 4x. And finally, we have the negative 4, which is another loner. So we add that on. And here's our product. So the easy way to find the product of two polynomials like this is to draw a rectangle and split it. One last example. Example 4. Expand quantity x minus 3 squared. x minus 3 quantity squared does not mean you square each part. When you square something, you multiply it by itself. So x minus 3 quantity squared means x minus 3 times x minus 3. So we draw a rectangle and split it into four pieces. 
The width is split into x and negative 3, and so is the length. Now we find the areas of the individual rectangles. x times x is x squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. And negative 3 times x gives another negative 3x. And finally, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. So the quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to the sum of these individual areas. The first area is x squared. Now the negative 3x and the negative 3x are like terms, so they can be combined when we add them. They add to negative 6x. And then we have the last little rectangle, the 9, which we add on. So the quantity x minus 3 squared is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. This is the end of lesson 49. Your assignment, problem set 49 on pages 199 and 200 of your book.